So, after uh, coming back home from the live stream with Doug, watching Survivor Series 2021, um, I had time to close my eyes, dream, sleep real good. I had a, slept real good last night. Wake up, really think about, did I enjoy Survivor, Survivor Series this year? And uh, I've come to the conclusion, wasn't that good. Wasn't that good at all. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross, back at again with another video. So, um, Survivor Series last night, not going to lie to you. I, for them to have this pay-per-view, their last pay-per-view of the year outside of NXT, the last main roster pay-per-view, they ended off on a bad note. I'm going to just be honest with you. I enjoyed Crown Jewel way better than this pay-per-view, and that is a surprise in itself. The build for this pay-per-view was lackluster. Very lackluster. The only thing that had somewhat of a decent build was obviously the Roman Reigns Big E uh, match, you know, involving Xavier Woods and um, Kofi Kingston. And Becky versus Charlotte, there's some real tension there, you know, behind the scenes. Outside of that, everything else was just kind of like, eh, it just, it didn't feel that important. I will still stand by this. I do think that Xavier Woods proposition for the survivor series men's match should have been taken into effect it would have created some intrigue the winners get to fight for the first five spots the losers i mean the winners get to fight for the last five spots in the royal rumble next year and the losers uh of the match get to fight for the first five spots for um the royal rumble next year it would have been interesting they didn't do that instead they pull out the Rock over the top rope battle royal on Friday Night SmackDown out of nowhere. That is a pre-show match at its finest. And they put that on the main card instead of having the Intercontinental Championship and the United States Championship. Those, those guys, Damian Priest, Shinsuke Nakamura going on on the main show. That I just don't get it, bro. And I'm not going to go into every match in detail because I'm not trying to make this video too long. I'm just here to give my initial thoughts and opinions of what I thought was going on in that show. And I will say this, WWE, I get it. You want to you wanna create some hype and intrigue. This is the Rock 25th anniversary. If you're going to do this, and you're going to tease us the entire time. They were promoting The Rock's movie that's on Netflix. And you're going to continuously tease us. You're going to bring in this side story where Vincent McMahon shows up on the show. And he has the egg from the movie or whatever. Rock gave it to him. Then you tease us some more with Roman Reigns coming into Vince's office. He sees the egg, like creating some type of jealousy then you create this other storyline from that that the egg disappears someone stole the egg so people would automatically think maybe roman stole it then you you create some more confusion by saying oh now brock lesnar's suspension is it's not indefinite anymore creating some more teases then you have in the main event Big E versus Roman, you have Roman hit the rock bottom. You have the crowd chanting Rocky, Rocky. And then you end the show, no payoff. Huh? And I get it. Some people can say, well, the rock got movie stuff. He can't come. I get that. But don't tease it throughout the goddamn night. You can celebrate the rock's 25th anniversary. That's fine. You can do that. Show some highlights. Whatever. But don't tease it as if he's really going to come. 
<clears throat> don't create this side storyline as if he's gonna come. And I don't wanna hear, oh, well, maybe he'll come on Monday Night Raw. Maybe he'll come on SmackDown. We're talking about what happened that night. I don't give a damn what happens on Friday night. I don't give a damn what happens on Monday night. We're talking about what happened on that show. That was the last pay-per-view of the year. You hyped it up as if something was going to happen. And it wasn't. That's a waste of time. People that was in our live stream chat yesterday were genuinely disappointed and annoyed. And I was like, bro, this was a waste of time. The only thing that made this enjoyable is watching us in, uh, on live stream. That's it. And <clears throat> be honest with you, outside of the first match and the last match, everything else was kind of middle of the road, mad to boring. Um, the first match really worked. I was hoping this was going to be a sign of good things to come between Becky and Charlotte. What made that match work is their, their real life beef they have with each other. So it was cool to see that. Dub doesn't even know the storyline between their matches like that. He doesn't want to watch the product like that, but he could tell, oh, this is intense. And he was enjoying it. They started off the show great. Becky and Charlotte... They did their part. Then the men's uh, Survivor Series match and Kevin Owens <laughs> walking off at the beginning. Some people are saying, oh, that was Kevin Owens walking to AEW. Wouldn't be surprised. It was okay. It wasn't bad by any means. It was decent, but, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to get too, too invested because it's just like, it doesn't matter who wins here. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, oh, uh, it's whatever. Now, I will say this, Xavier Woods, King Woods, I don't even know what's the point of making him king of the ring, bro. He got eviscerated by Bobby Lashley. I mean, totally and utterly destroyed by him. I mean, it wasn't even close. He beat the crap out of him. And it just, it just sucks because just... Just this Friday, he's over here crying over a fucking fake crown. And now he gets his ass kicked again in Survivor Series. King Xavier Woods gets destroyed by Bobby Lashley and put to sleep. I'm just like, oh. They, they could have gave him a better moment. That, it just, what's the point of him being the king of the ring, bro? No one's going to take him seriously. I'm just being dead ass. No one's going to take... Xavier Woods, seriously, the king of the ring is supposed to build up a guy to potentially be the next guy up. No one's going to take him seriously. He was just crying on SmackDown over a fake crown. He got his ass beat the fuck up by Bobby Lashley. All right, whatever. That was really disappointing. The, the count outs between Drew and, and Bobby, it just I just didn't care. If anything, the only thing I really could have saved that match is if they would have gave the win to Jeff because I feel like Jeff deserved it. He was a sole survivor. I would have loved to have seen it for him. And uh, they didn't give it to him. They didn't give the win to him, which took a lot of people out of it already. So I was like, all right, what else? I didn't care about the the women's match, a women's Survivor Series match as much. The match that really killed all the momentum for the show was the Battle Royale match. The Rock over the top rope Battle Royale. Sponsored by fucking Pizza Hut. Oh my God. And we had Pizza Hut last night while watching the stream. But it's just like, bro, what are we doing? All these jobbers in this fucking match damn near. What, what is the point? What, what, what did they gain out of that? You won the match. You get some fucking free pizza. Why? What's the point? They uh, That should have been just pre-show filler. That is it. Why they had that on the main Because The Rock's name on it? The Rock didn't even come. You don't give a fuck about that. Why the fuck should we care? Are you going to push the person that won it? No. It's... Uh, When that match happened, the crowd was done. It didn't matter. You had the fans doing the wave around the stadium during the women's match. And there were some highlights in the women's match, but it, it, it couldn't be saved. The crowd was dead. 
It was, it was, they didn't come back to life until maybe midway through the Big E and Roman Reigns match, which honestly definitely brought people back to life, which I expected it to. I was hoping that it did, and they definitely did. It started off very slow, but they picked it up. And I like that Big E was really holding his own. I just wish, and I'm not going to lie to you. I know some of y'all may disagree. I actually wanted Big E to win. I did. Because one, Roman doesn't lose the title here. So I'm okay with that. And then two, Big E needs that win because I, I get the feeling that people don't really take Big E as seriously as they should. And he's the WWE champion. I'm just being honest. I think people like him as champion, but they don't take him as serious as as the champion and i feel like there's no better way to take someone serious if you beat roman reigns i feel like he needed that win now granted i know you gotta protect roman can't make him look weak so i that's why i say either the rock comes out there cause a distraction i know people are not a big fan of distraction finishes but the rock comes out there cause a distraction ultimately biggie capitalizes on it and he wins the match. It makes, it still keeps Roman strong. People will pop for it. Holy shit, Big E won, and they saw The Rock. It would have been a good, it would have been a good feel. Then Big E can go back, you know what I'm saying, really riding that high of, I beat Roman. Yeah, with the assist of The Rock, but I still got the pin over Roman. That's going on the record books. And Roman can be irate. Now, if it wasn't going to be The Rock, it could have been Brock. They're teasing it. He's coming back. It could have been Brock. Brock causes him to lose the fucking match. He's still the Universal Champion. And now he is pissed. We see a dangerous, dangerous Roman now. He is super pissed. And maybe he goes after Xavier Woods now. Because he can't get a hold of Big E. Like, he gets real. He goes super rogue. If there's ways they could have did that. That's just my personal opinion. We don't have to agree if you guys feel like the right person won that's okay the thing is and I'm, I'm okay if roman does win and he won clean he didn't have don't uso help it's just to me it just it knocks down Big E even lower because he really couldn't get the job done he couldn't beat him and it just sucks because he's the wwe champion so it's like there's, I just feel like there's a better way they could have booked this where at least Roman would have been protected, but he can take a loss. He can take a loss because the title's not involved. He can take a loss here. It will elevate the WWE champion, which they need to do. And now it creates this, this, this type of persona in Roman where he's pissed because he finally lost a match. And he's not taking no BS from nobody. He wants to destroy Brock, like, or whoever interferes. Like, it just, it would have made for an interesting story. That's just my personal opinion. Yeah, comment down below. Let me know if you agree with that or which are you okay with how things ended last night. But outside of that, no Rock return. Still don't know who took the fucking egg. I don't, it doesn't even fucking matter at this point. It's just that show. It, it, that was a waste of fucking time outside of the first match and the last match really and maybe the men's match for a little bit that shit was a waste of fucking time i'm sorry i i, I think last night i gave that match a five out of ten that's easily a five out of ten only because of the two fucking matches that's it and honestly if it wasn't for us live streaming and chatting with you guys i would not want to watch that shit that fucking all that shit was doo doo, complete doo doo, bro. So yeah, but comment down below. Let me know. Did you guys enjoy this pay per view? Did you guys have a good time during this pay per view, uh, or you didn't? You thought this pay per view pay per view was a waste of time? It was BS, and they could have did a whole lot better. And what do you give this pay per view on a scale of one to ten? Uh, I give this a five out of ten for me personally let me know well any booking decisions you would have changed or are you okay with everything that happened last night even the fucking pizza royal battle royal fucking in honor of the rock some 
that stupid ass match even if you like that for some odd reason but appreciate all love and support road to 70k appreciate y'all kidding me see y'all on the next one peace